What's up, y'all? I'm gonna give you my deadliest move to use when playing one-on-one. -on -one. This is one of my secrets as to how I'm able to get my shot off and score against any opponent on the court. So I typically like using this move when I'm in triple threat. However, you can do it off the bounce as well. And what it is, it's a push-out dribble. So if I'm in triple threat, say I'm on my right foot pivot, I'm gonna push out to my left. So it's gonna be like a straight line dribble outward to really allow my body to skip downhill into space. Now, as soon as I get that little skip, I can see exactly what I have, what option I have. If my defender doesn't move too much, I know I have an attack option. If my defender moves and tries to jump ball side right away, I can counter. And my favorite option, if I push out and they sag, or they start moving backwards, now I can just pick up and gather for shot. So you guys notice like a lot of my one-on-ones, like I'll start at different tempos, I'll go slow with it and get into a qu uh, quick pull. I'll go quick into it, get into like an extra little stutter jab. Okay, and it gives me opportunity to get whatever I want when I get into a game. Or you can take it off the bounce. So if you guys are playing with unlimited dribbles, then you guys can use it right there off the bounce. So you have a little lead up, and then you just push, start skipping your steps, getting that defender to kind of shuffle, jump, stay put, sag, and it's gonna give you opportunity to score. I'm gonna go through a couple of reps. We'll talk through a couple of key important details as we go, but make sure we focus on how I push that ball out, where it's going outside my frame, and my footwork involved with each rep. So you guys are gonna notice when I get into these push outs and attack, there's multiple options, multiple ways for me to access that go. So what I did, I can skip, I can get into a drop stance and attack right away. I can push out, stutter and jab. It's one of my favorite ones to use. That quick little push out, boom. Give that additional jab to really freeze that defender. Or you guys can push to space. And then once you get here to space, bring ball back to counter. That's another solid action because it gets defender committed to that counter option. Let's go through a couple more on those goes. For the counter options, I still want you to focus on your skips, focus on your stutters, and focus on that anchor foot of keeping that back foot heavy. But now we just wanna make sure we sell and bait that defender toward ball side while occupying or controlling our space well. So when you see me do these moves, you're gonna notice my shoes in front of me. I'm not allowing my body to get beyond my shoes to do the counter move, because that's not gonna be realistic. I'm not gonna make the move behind my defender. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to try to control my space so that way when I get into that skip from the push out or I have my anchor on the push out or I do my stutter on the push out, I'm still imagining and picturing that defender in front of me. Now, the reason why we counter is because defender jumps toward ball side. And what that does for us is it creates a middle foot to attack. A lot of coaches will say attack the top foot. I don't believe that's a 100% true. But one thing that I've noticed through my training and playing experience is that attacking the middle foot is. So if I skip and put my defender downhill and I get that defender to jump, that outside foot is there to where this foot is in front in the middle of my frame, I know that that's the direction that I'm gonna go. I'm gonna counter. If my defender is in this stance and I go to push out and they're jumping, cutting me off, that right foot is still in the middle of my frame, therefore telling me that I need to go that direction. There's no way I can skip here and attack over that top foot. So be conscientious of what you're trying to accomplish. Let's go through a few reps on that counter option out of the push out. Oh.
The third and final options that we have using our push out dribble is gonna be just gathering into a shot. So if I notice that defender takes a step backward as soon as I take my first dribble, then I know right away they're gonna be able to gather into my shot. Now when doing this, it's important to understand that timing is everything. So I don't wanna overstep space, but I also don't wanna pick ball up early and then gather feet, because that's gonna tell my de defender right away that I'm shooting the basketball. So what we wanna do is we wanna really delay that pickup, time that back foot with that offhand getting to the basketball, so that way we can really beat the defender off the ground and get our shot off before they're able to contest. Now you're gonna notice that I'm gonna do these options out of a quick push out. We'll do options out of a stutter, or sorry, a skip. We'll do options out of a stutter. And I'm also gonna give you a drag option to get into shot. And every one of these is killer. But play, I need you guys to practice them and practice them and practice them and use your shoes or use your imagination to see how the defender is playing, okay? And make sure, this is important, make sure that you know how to occupy your space. We can't be going too far downhill and end up body to body with that opponent and then decide to get up into a shot. It's not gonna work. So make sure you guys know how to control your spacing. Let's get it. Hope you guys enjoyed the drill. Make sure you give it a thumbs up, drop a comment, let me know what you wanna see more of, and check out these one-on-ones. I use this push-out dribble all the time, so watch for me to use it in these one-on-ones. Let's get it.